Everything. My hat good. on backwards. It's time to fucking party. All right. Hell well, yeah. Everybody roll oh, initiative. Oh, cap, cap, cap flipped his hat. That means it's really real. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Can roll. you remind me initiative one more time? It's... One die, and you add to the initiative modifier. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's good. I don't need my dice. I hit... <sighs> damn it. You goon. I forgot. You're a goon. I, I hid my I hid my dice because I was doing a job interview. Yes. <laughs> do 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 do. do, do. Oh wow, this guy's initiative is not that good. That's okay. That's just the way I like them. That's exactly what we like to hear. I will use my die for initiative because it's not on D10. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. 16. 16. Yeah, I've got like a plus eight for my initiative. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't get to operate during surprise rounds. Oh, I got a roll for Thaddeus too. He's there. I can't imagine Thaddeus has a particularly high initiative mod. He's not great. He's not he's not quick. Okay. Um now Mike, you are invisible. Uh which means uh I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that this thing will be able to detect you, but you're not an obvious and present threat. Uh Wayland. Mm-hmm. Out from the... Wayland is the most obvious threat. <laughs> yeah. You look like a soldier, and this thing is smarter than it looks. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. One, one, one note before we start is that Mike did send a, an email to, to Amelia that Amelia has not read yet. Oh. Oh, my. Watch after we're done fighting. Well... It's it, after if if it's a uh, sort of well if I happen to die. <laughs> well, no, if you're reading this, I might be dead. <laughs> but like for a second time, because obviously we've all died at least once. Right, that's why they call it final death. He he CC'd Wayland, but it figured it, there was no point. No, uh, I leave all of my movies to Wayland and. <laughs> I leave one cool sword for Amelia because I know she secretly wants it. I leave everything to my cat Guppy. Uh, so Waylon, mm -hmm. this gigantic crocodile man bursts out of the water. You don't know how long he's been lying down there, but he's got like algae growing on him. Holy shit! Okay. Um, this thing doesn't move for anybody. Are you familiar with the phrase, no mithers? Yes. Yes. This thing has got no mithers. What's a mither? Is that a naughty part? Uh, no, I don't know exactly. I know the context of no mithers, but I don't know exactly what mithers means. That's okay. I just wanted to know if it was a new saucy word I can use. No. Uh, like It's like no, no bother. Right. Oh, gotcha. It, like to make an unnecessary fuss. About something. Yeah, like no mithers means I cannot be fucked. Like I cannot be worse right. to give a shit. Uh, so it uh, lays into you with its claws and its big meaty maw. Waylon, that's a lot of teeth. That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Those teeth that's are not for eating pizza. 
Um, you take five points of lethal damage. Okay. And this thing goes absolutely crock shit on you. Oh, goody. Uh, and as it bursts out of the water, it bellows, Tick Tock! Oh, no! <laughs> it's a cosplaying croc! Uh, initiative moves on to the top of initiative to Mike. Um, I am going to, uh, try to dab at this thing. I'm also going to try to, I mean, once I am visible, interpose myself between it and Wayland, because I can tell Wayland's fucked. <laughs> so. Sounds good. Uh, so do I get any benefit from coming out of, uh, coming out of concealment? Yes, he is not going to get his defense. Okay. Um, you know what? I am going to spend willpower on this attack. That is not a bad oh, yeah. idea. Uh, oh, Mikey! Kick his ass! Let's see. I've got... Um, remembering... Alright, my weaponry is four. My dex is... Um, can I also spend a point of blood to increase my dex? You can. Okay. Uh, that so. dex uh, increase remains until the end of the scene. Uh, the Vitae Sm courses through your body and dissipates, giving you increased vitality and agility. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Holy! Okay, so I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> you deal one point of lethal damage. Fuck. One point is a point! Every point counts. Uh, it's, that, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that is, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> that is not a good sign. <laughs> the great albino is hunger incarnate. Its existence is nearly eternal sleep punctuated by occasional bouts of terrible appetite. Oh, same Z's. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it has an ability called Perfected Bezor. It can only take one point of lethal damage at most from any attack? From certain types of attacks. Okay. Uh, like, your blade skims across the surface of its scales, and you recognize that's not supposed to happen. No, and that was a textbook perfect strike. Oh, yeah, no. Like, fucking samurai, baby... Uh, oh, oh well. So much for all the, for, for the willpower and the blood. All hey. made all the worse. You can tell that its scales are not ornamental. You don't know what they're made of, but they're stronger than. I think they're um, yeah. They are stronger pardon. than Kevlar. Oh, that's too bad because I got bullets, and Kevlar is good against bullets. I mean, hey man. Even if a bullet bounces off, bounces off, that's still damage. Oh yeah, I'm gonna still shoot it. I'm gonna be pissed when it doesn't do a lot. Uh, so. um, I, I uh, just uh, you know, sort of appear between it and and Wayland to give Wayland uh, give Wayland a breather <laughs> and say. <laughs> We're gonna take you, you bastard! <laughs> uh, given its, given its prodigious size, you can only guess how much blood it's got. Like, this guy's got health. There's, there's so much to chop. This is um, so bad. And then it's its turn. Mikey, what is your defense? Do, 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 do. Three. 
Hey. Uh, does Dex affect defense? Mm, it's the lower of your dexterity and wits. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so it's three. Unless you have... There are certain abilities that allow you to take the greater... And if you're an absolute mad lad and take four in wits and four in dex, you just get four defense, baby. And then if you go full defense, that's eight defense. And then you get to lower all incoming attacks by eight dice. Okay, well, three. Noted. Uh, it reaches down to your mushroom body. Uh, and it just, like grabs your shoulders and wraps its maw around your torso and takes a big old chomp. You take two points of lethal damage and he just starts scarfing down the pieces of your body which have torn away. Ugh. Super rude. I'm gonna yeah, chop you up and put you on a pizza, little boy. You stay away from my mushroom, son! <laughs> Okay. Ah, ah. Boy, you better. All right. Uh, initiative marches on to Wayland. Holy shit, this thing hits hard. Holy shit, this thing hits hard. Um, that's okay. Me too. Um, it's okay. Going... Wayland needs violence now. Father, I crave violence. I would like to spend a point of Vitae to uh, buff my strength by one. Um, I'm going to push myself up to my feet, draw the sword, and attempt to take a swing at this thing's uh, uh, torso. Chomp. Get it off of Mike. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Prometheans don't take wound penalties. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, so that's how the errata works. What do you mean? Okay. Oh. No, I I found the um the source book that um Krohan is from. So it's in it's in here, page eighteen. Um Yeah, I'm going to not buff my strength. Oh, Bloodlines the Legendary, yes. Mm -hmm. I, we had this book at the Table Gaming Club. I looked for oh, it. Oh, hell yeah. It's fucking... Uh, 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 Kruhan sounds good, but there's so much that's just so... There's stupid. so much there that's, yeah, super... I did not pick the most broken thing. I picked I picked it for a theme. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, not with my buffed strength. I would like to try to hit this thing with my sword. Hit it. Uh, where is my dice roller tab? There it is. Sword attack. Yoink. Right. Are you going to heal yourself at all? Or can you heal yourself at all? Uh, now is yes. not the time for healing. Now is, now is not the time for healing. If I kill it, I don't have to heal. <laughs> um, I don't think I kill it. Uh, I got... Six successes. Um, and I'm going to spend that Vitae now on um, the Blight of the Fisher King. So I'm going to make an Intelligence, Occult, and Krokhan versus the Subject's Resolve and Blood Potency or Healing Stat as it extends to... Uh, I, I call it Supernatural Advantage. Supernatural Advantage. Yeah. Um, so what's its role? It will be resolve plus supernatural advantage. Okay. Uh, makes sense to me. So int Ooh. one, three plus four is seven. And I'm going to spend a point of willpower to get a total of ten in my dice pool. I'm very consistent today. A total of... Six successes again. Hot. Nice. What does this Blood of the Fisher King do? Blight of the Fisher King will... Um, success. Would six successes be an exceptional success? Yes. Or a... Okay. Um, five or more successes. In addition to instinctively knowing when the subject attempts to heal itself... 
The character will know the severity of the damage being healed, and it is possible, though difficult, to cause the subject to suffer aggravated damage. Um, in order to inflict a point of aggravated damage when it tries to heal, the subject must spend all five vitae uh, to heal the wound during the... Oh, oh, wait, no. That's not what I want. Hold on, I have to I have to read what my abilities do. Because this is... Um, there's, a, there's another one that has the, the thing you want. Okay, okay. As a reflexive action, the character may spend one Vitae to corrupt the subject's healing efforts. Instead of healing the damage, the subject instead suffers the same amount of damage. Got it. So, if it tries to heal, I can spend a Vitae to stop it and, and hurt it instead. Sweet. Uh, Love that for so you. So, you deal one point of lethal damage. Cool. Um, uh, uh, fuck, I'm trying to find that clip. Cannot find it, but that's fine. Running away is really starting to seem like such a good option. Uh, you know that part in the Matrix where Neo is fighting all those dudes in the Merovingian's palace, and he blocks a sword by holding his hand up against it? Yeah. That is what happens to your sword. But, like, in, very much like the Matrix. Oh, the croc bleeds. You did wound it. But, like, that should have cut him in half. Not this. Initiative margin. Noted. On. Amelia, it's your turn. Oh, I would love to uh, shoot him with bullets. Uh, uh, f uh, uh, draw and fire. Yes, those are the things I'd like to do. He's a pretty big target. Uh, can, you can you remind me? Is it just a fi pure firearms, or do I add any Dex. skills? Dexterity and firearms. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, great. And I will also burn a willpower. Not burn, spend. I burned it once, and now my brain is like, burn them! And I'm like, no, bitch, that's the wrong one. I will no, spend no, no, too a Too much power. I had too much power! Okay, so five plus three. Okay. That being said, Dave, when I said uh, Prometheans don't suffer wound penalties, they suffer a far more deleterious effect. Okay. Less penalty now, more penalty later. Yeah, but we might be in his stomach later. You're not wrong. It's true. Two. We give him cool. a very bad ended case of, of uh, reflux. The pain! The pain! Three successes to bullet. Okay, I'm gonna roll a d10 and see what happens. <laughs> oh fuck! I okay. Hope... Uh, uh oh. So bullets bounce off of solid solid targets. Of course. Um, and your bullet begins ricocheting around the room, uh, around oh, the no. corridor. Like it bounces off of off his carapace and like bounces off a wall and hits Mike. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, so that's two bounces. So you only take one bashing damage. Like you get pelted, you get pelted with something that feels like you got hit with a ninety-eight mile per hour fastball. Which to a vampire is one bashing damage. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That's gonna leave a welt. I meant for the bullet to go in him, not you. Oh. All uh, right, it's a good thing I also brought my bat. Uh, Thaddeus's eyes light up, and he jumps on top of the creature, and did you know that it's way easier to close a crocodile's mouth than it is to hold it open? Yeah, I did. Uh, so mm -hmm. he, he, like, hops on Croc King's back and just wraps his body around the thing's mouth, and it murmurs and gurgles. So, oh, good job, Fatty! <laughs> so it won't be able to use its bite attack anymore. Uh, hopefully, assuming Thaddeus succeeds. Uh, uh, he does not succeed. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. So he was like, okay, I'm going to jump up on its back because the Croc King is so big and cumbersome. Like, there's no way he can possibly, like, toss me off. 
Oh no, he can just he can just break his joints. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Uh, oh. And he gets thrown, tossed into the 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 river of murk and filth. Initiative marches on. Mike, it's your turn. Okay. So he, you described him taking a big bite, bite, bite out of my torso. Yes. So therefore, there is a mouth that's near me. Um, um, yes. I would like to um, make a called shot to the, you know, to the upper palate, um, down the throat um, of, uh, of this thing. And again, spending willpower on it. Uh, um, what is what, what would burning willpower do? Burning a willpower gives you nine extra dice, and you erase the willpower from your sheet. Yeah. That's why I've only done it once. Yeah. Uh, mortals can risk a willpower, giving you nine agains, but if you don't get any successes, you burn the willpower from your sheet. Mortals can do that, but we can't. No, only mortals can do that. Only mortals can be like. I'm putting everything on the line today. Like I'm, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit this home run, or I'm gonna fucking retire. Be fair, mortals have a, a first life to lose, so they kind of right. deserve an. That's why, that's why supernatural creatures can't risk willpower. Mm -hmm. They're already so assured. I, I think under these circumstances, I am going to burn a willpower point. Um, and see what happens. It may be that this is, uh, how many, how many dice do I lose for the, uh, call shot? Uh, you lose four dice for the call. Uh, let me see. Call. Yeah. I think, I, uh, I think call shot for the head is three. Let me look up call shots. Admittedly, it's a big target and he did just have his mouth open right on top of me. That's true. Because I know called shot for the eye is minus five and a called shot for the torso is minus one. Um, and if I have to sort of just jump in all the way to like get a good shot, I'll do it. God damn it. There's no just like combat section. Of course there isn't. That'd be too easy. That would make too much sense. Um, close combat modifiers. Other complications. Uh, it's got to be around here somewhere. All right. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to say it's a minus two. You have made some satisfying arguments. Okay, I am going to burn the burn and burn a point of willpower. I don't want to burn a point of willpower. Listen, Nike becomes a hero. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm shoving shoving my whole arm up into that into that jaw if I can. Oh. It's some good, Mikey, baby. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. You're not wrong. Flux in shade. Dear God. Okay. Mm. So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Okay. The good news is that you uh, you create a deliberate forest sword swallowing act on this creature are you familiar with the mandible claw um in in theory i guess it's i mean maybe, maybe you're talking about something specific but you're just it's, talking about a, a claw that has like little pincer at the end uh well so so the mandible claw is a submission maneuver that was developed by a dentist um if you pinch the nerve at the base of the tongue 
it hurts a lot. Um, and the funny thing about the mandible claw is that the obvious idea to avoid it is to bite down, but because of the displacement of the tongue when someone's hand is in your mouth, the only way you would be able to bite down on the subject's fingers is if you bit through your own tongue. In short, the King Croc's mouth is all fucked. Um, you, you still only deal one point of damage. God. But now he can no longer use his bite attack. Well, that's good. Um, and he's literally, like, not literally choking on a sword, just because of how he's able to breathe. Uh, but he is, like, coughing and spluttering and, like, ah, ah, ah. Initiative marches on. Uh, he is cranky. Um, yep. Yes. He I'm going to get ripped into two pieces. <laughs> Listen, everybody knows, everyone knows how pissed you get after you bite your tongue, so I can imagine an albino crocodile doesn't have great regulation skills. Um, he turns against you, Mike, and you're like, oh, cool. Is he just going to leave now? I mean, that means we'll have to hunt him more, but if he tries to heal, then, you know, he's got a tail slap to to fuck slap he does, in fact, me. tail slap the shit out of you. Uh, um, my boy! And, and you get smashed uh, against the sewer walls, and you're thinking, oh, well, thank goodness, it's just a tail. Like, it's just bashing damage. Uh, tails, crocodile tails weren't meant to have spikes on them. But when oh. they do, you take lethal damage. You take three points uh. of lethal damage from a brutal tail slap. Oh, that's not, my son. that's not good. Initiative All right, so... Um, have I healed from the bashing damage already? Uh, what, what bashing uh, damage? Is, so, Amelia dealt me some, a point of bashing damage. Oh. Oh, uh, well, you gotta spend the blood to heal it. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, I will spend a blood to heal it, just because I don't... Uh, one Vitae cures one lethal, or two bashing? Oh, in that case, I'll cure one lethal. That is your Vitae for the round. Yep. Um, initiative marches on. Waylon. This fucking croc. This fucking croc? I need, I need some way to disable it further. And I'm suddenly wishing that uh, the, the techniques that I know for dueling vampires are not going to be nearly as effective as uh, in dueling a giant crocodile monster. Unfortunately, no. The thing that you can always rely on with vampires is that their skin is squishy. I don't think there's a single vampiric ability that gives you, like, armored skin. Uh, the closest thing is resilience, but even then that's, like, strength of will there through to, blood. There used to be a gangrel high-level one that turned you to stone. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, like a sixth... It was a sixth rank of protein you could turn to stone. Jesus Christ. I was going to say, that's got to be high-level shit. Oh, well, I mean, oh, even yeah, that, on the that, third that, level, that, you could meld that, with the earth. Yeah, that was a Methuselah thing. Um, mm -hmm. oh. And then, of course, gargoyles. Are gargoyles still vampires? Oh, gargoyles are still a... Um, uh, what's the... Tremere creation. Right. I mean, in... in there used to be a, a particular vampire bloodline that Trimac had created. Oh, no. Uh, it, at this point, gargoyles are the effect of in, infusing stone with Vitae. Fun! Alright, here's a question. Um, how is this thing carrying its own weight? Is it bipedal? Is it, it using... Is it relying on its tail? It is a biped uh the tail is definitely useful for balancing just because of how ungainly it is okay okay uh called shot um uh, is is the tail spiked all the way down uh the tail is spiked all the way down from the base ending in a wicked barb at the tip basically okay. this thing looks like an albino godzilla just yes. a little, slightly it's, smaller. It's a, it's a nine-foot Godzilla. Oh. 
It's a miniature kaiju, which is just a... I don't even know what to call it. I was about to say, I took this guy right out of the uh, right out of the book, so I've got a handy dandy illustration. It's the amazing. nice thing about actual like, kaiju is they usually don't notice you. Usually. Usually. I thought kaiju just meant a super sized version of a thing. Oh, it is. It's just that they're usually so like, big that they don't really care about people size things. I'm going to spend a point of Vitae to heal one lethal, and I'm going to uh, make a called shot to this thing's tail. Go for it. That's a minus one penalty. Like, the tail okay. is the same size as the torso, so I can't I can't impose a large enough, a large penalty on that. That's, that's fair. Not spectacular. Every hit counts. Four. Ooh, you deal one point of lethal damage. Um, and, uh, if your goal was to chop off its tail, you are one third of the way through. Oh, good. Um, uh, initiative marches on to Amelia. Hmm. Is it time for gun? No, Mikey has inspired me to get a little reckless. So I have a question. Shoot. Let's say hypothetically I wanted to throw my hatchet. If you want to throw your What's hatchet, the... that would be a strength and athletics roll instead of a strength and weaponry roll. Okay, great. Um, let me take a look at my stuff real quick. I I did uh, I did once play a character who had no points in weaponry, but a bunch of points in athletics, so I was really good at throwing weapons, but when someone got close, I couldn't actually do anything. I have one point in athletics, but I would like to spend a V-take. I can use that on my strength, right? You may. Like how Mike used it on his decks, I can use a Vitae to boost my strength. You absolutely can. And your strength will be boosted for the rest of the scene. Great. I'm going to spend a Vitae to boost my strength. And then I'm going to burn a willpower to give me some extra fucking dice. And I'm going to make a called shot. And I'm going to try to throw my hatchet into one of his eyes. Ugh. Okay, so you get a minus five for aiming for the eye. That's fine. Uh, That's why I'm burning willpower. And then uh, roll them bones. So plus nine, minus five, plus Boy. temporary strength, plus my athletics. So let me do math real quick. So that's 13 minus five is eight. I can numbers good. All right, everybody pray for me. I pray. I pray. On your knees. On your knees. Oh, there's some exploded dice. Oh, thank you for exploded dice. Also remember, uh, because it's a hatchet, nines explode. Oh, hell yeah. All right, that's three successes then. Hell yeah. Uh, you only deal one point of lethal damage, uh, but because an eye only has one hit point, hell yeah! Uh, you throw your hatchet and it fucking embeds in this dude's eye, and he's just like, Aah! "Stop <laughs> hurting my arms!" <laughs> I'm not supposed to take this sort of abuse from a meal. You stay away from my mushroom son and my very hot. We're not sure what we are yet. <laughs> Oh, fuck. We can't figure it out if you eat them, so... <laughs> Sadly, I cannot find the Tension image... Tension will never be resolved. Or the gif of uh, uh, Omnicron from uh, uh, goddamn Transformers taking a spaceship to the eyeball. Oh, that's how Amelia feels, throwing her hatchet. Oh, yeah, no. She's in full, like, mama mode. She was gonna shoot him down, but then accidentally hurt her mushroom son trying to shoot him, so now she's like, fucking take a hatchet to the eye! But it, it is pretty wild. I also like how, in her mind, Mike is very much her son, but Mike is, like, several decades older than her. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it. Uh, hey, he looks good. Um, yeah, because in the Transformers movie from the fucking 80s, uh, Omicron's a giant oh, robot and they fly a spaceship through his eye and up until that point he's been shown to be indestructible 
like uh, go for the eyes another robot like uh sacrifices like their last remaining ship and self-destructs it in his face and it does zero damage like it's fucking sad just like all right this is our last shot we're gonna blow up our own ship on him and he's like unharmed so that they fly once out. my bullet bounced off of him i was like fuck it i'm just aiming for the eyes then mm, not a bad idea uh, so Thaddeus, uh, is in the pool of filth, and it's pretty tricky to navigate a missile drop kick from a, a prone position, uh, especially through water, but, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. He got that capoeira skills, as we have seen. <laughs> He's got those capoeira skills, and unfortunately, he only deals one point of bashing damage as he bounces off of King Croc's skin. And he's like, "Oh, that was that was supposed to be uh, that was that was supposed to do more." That was supposed to be a one punch man moment. Yep, uh, I was supposed to one punch man this croc, but I uh, that can't happen. That being said, he is standing. Uh, Mike, it's your turn. Okay. Initiative. Um, I see. Uh, I I peel myself off the wall, thinking running away. Running running away sounds like a really good idea, but they probably wouldn't. So let's go for the other eye. <laughs> what do you um, use to wound the other eye? I am going to use a rear katana thrust uh, you to make a call. You can't thrust your katana; it's in his mouth. Oh, the katana is still stuck in there. Oh yeah, no, he took it. Okay. He's currently choking on it. Um. Just like I, kick it further down his throat with your foot. <laughs> I so I can't easily remove it if I grab it and try to twist my way out. Uh, would that be a melee attack? I mean, you can try to reach into his mouth. <laughs> no, you know something that the the sword being there might be the only reason why I can't bite. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to do something freaking nuts. Um, I only have one one point of of brawl. But could I try to jump on his face and bite his eye? You absolutely could. Uh, give me that beautiful uh, dexterity and brawl oh. footage. I the am a minus five out. penalty. I am spending a point of willpower. Hey. Not burning, spending. Got it. And Everybody getting feral tonight, and I love it. <laughs> Have you considered Let's frenzying see. for fun? Oh, that reminds me. That's not bad for a four die pool. Not that it makes a difference because I'm only going to do one point. Every little bit counts. So yes, I jump on his face and suck his eyeball out. That is true. Uh, Dave. Give me a resolve and composure roll. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a little good and a little bad. Or a little bad and a little good. Let's see what the roll is. <laughs> All right, you rage frenzy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Every so the good news is you get a plus one die on any aggressive actions. The bad news is you will do whatever you have to do to hurt King Croc. Okay. Um, well, I, I chew on his optic nerve a little bit. <laughs> yes. Uh, that being said, disappointingly, you regain no Vitae from eating his eyeball. Also, God, he tastes terrible. Now he needs to die. 
You just need to destroy him. You need to get him out of your life. This terrible, terrible thing. All he does is cause harm. You'll suffer no more slights from the stupid beast. It, it occurs to me that Mike's whole body is probably not too much larger than Croc's head. No. So, um, it's just like I'm just visualizing him sort of dangling there. Oh my uh, God. Initiative marches on. So Croc's going to try to heal his eyeballs. I would like to reflexively use a Vitae to tell him to fuck himself. That is Yay. the answer I was looking for. He takes one lethal damage as terrible agony uh, <laughs> fills his body. Uh, and he's like, all right, you know, I didn't want to have to do this. All right, healing. <laughs> uh, he writhes as up. if struck with electricity. of Paris? Excuse you? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, jeez. What does blindness do? Presumably, take a lot of dice out of your, your attacks. Because I know... Fighting blind, page 166. Thank you. Uh, fight. Sometimes circumstances arise when your character cannot see, but he still needs to defend himself or seek out a threatening opponent. Maybe he's in pitch dark darkness, dense smoke fills the area, or he suffered vision damage. All the more reason to, for him to try to fight back, even while blind. Uh, must attack enemies almost as if those opponents are fully concealed. They cannot be targeted at all. Shots are taken in the dark, literally. Your character chooses the direction in which they stage an attack. Whether close or ranged combat, guessing where your intended target might be. To even have a hope of hitting, your character must direct his target at the target's location. If he's not even pointing in the right direction, he fires to the right, but the target is behind him. There is no chance to hit. Realistically speaking, I wouldn't be clinging to him. I probably lost my connection to his head when I bit the optic nerve off and fell back into the water. Uh, give me that so. delicious strength and brawl footage, because you want to you wanna hold on. Oh, yeah, of course. Strength and brawl, my specialties. Yep. Okay. I did not particularly want to hold on, but I may have. <laughs> I mean, whether you want to or not, your will is not your own, Mike. Oh, wait a second. I should add, I, I should add a die to that because of, I didn't count the frenzy. Oh, mm, 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 throw another one on there. Yep. Do you want me to just roll one die? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a slavering monster, Mike. That was a five. Um, that being said... It's not too difficult to see. It's not too difficult to detect where the beasts are. Uh, Waylon. Uh, the the King Croc does a does a pirouette, and you are in range to be struck with the tail. <laughs> you take two lethal damage from a terrible tail attack, Mike. Due to the sheer force of the impact, you go flying off. Do I take bashing or anything? Um, you know what? You don't. You land in the filthy water and therefore don't take any damage. Splash. Splish. Initiative marches on. Waylon, your turn. Excellent. I'm going to um, keep hacking away at this thing's tail. Make another tail attack. Sure will. That is not much better. <laughs> but damage is damage. It only takes one. You deal one point of lethal damage. This thing's almost off. You're about to say one more attack and you'll remove the tail. And if you remove the tail, all he's got are the claws. And strangely enough, he doesn't come with claw attacks, so I can only assume they're even worse than his tail. 
Um, initiative marches on. Amelia, it's your turn. You're out of hatchets. That's fine. I also have bat and gun. This is true. Uh, so I got option. Um, if he's blinded, is there enough room in the sewer that I could, like, circle around him? Because I'm in front of him right now, but I want to get to that that telltale. You absolutely could. Cool. I'm going to, like, circle around him, give as much of a wide breath as I can within the sewers, and then I'm going to run up with my beautiful barbed wire bat. <laughs> and I'm going to try to hit it with the barbed wire bat, which I know is not a great cutting implement, but it does have one lethal damage thanks to those wires. Thank you, Carmen. Every little bit counts. Roll it. Cool. I shall. Okay. Pray for me, children. Pray that my computer cooperates. It doesn't like to do that. There we go. Ooh. Thank you. Two hits with the bitty bat. Every little bit counts. So you hit him with the bat and the tail goes flying off. Writhing and like spinning around and just... It's like a it's like a snake that's been deta detached from his body, a snake without eyes Gross. or tongue. Gross, amazing, gross. Uh, Thaddeus is just gonna punch the croc. He punched oh, yeah. the croc in the face. I punch my problems. I mean, we blinded him. We took his tail. We took his mouth. Like, what's he gonna do? Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a man punch a crocodile, but it's a surreal experience. It sounds amazing and horrifying. Um, okay. So, he has filled up on damage, but Prometheans don't take wound penalties. Um, we'll figure out what happens in a little while. Mike, you are frenzying! Alright, I'm flipping, it's start frenzying, I am thinking that, that the most insane rabid thing I could do is attempt to jump into that wide open mouth and tear my way through the tongue down the throat and just sort of try to eat him from the inside out. That's a brilliant Whoa. idea. If you jump down his throat, then you can get your sword back and then you can start cutting him from the inside. That's really don't need his Mike. Don't <laughs> need his heart. <laughs> okay, what do I need to roll for this in lunacy? Uh, is this an athletics roll or is yeah, this a... Give uh, me a uh, strength and athletics roll to jump down his throat. I will activate vitality. That's a good idea. Remember, oh, vigor, vigor. I'll activate vigor. Your heart out, not his. So that's a point of <laughs> blood and a point of willpower for this. Uh, do I lose two for the called shot? Nope, this thing, is not or? a called shot. This is a eat me roll. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's two plus two plus um, three. Cool. Um. Okay. <laughs> die, 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 die. Oh, baby Jesus. Okay, so you crawl down his throat. You get your sword, and you just start, like, the th the thing is, because of your small size, you're able to fit pretty comfortably inside of his belly, and as such, you're able to, like, whip your sword around. Uh, you do take uh, two points of lethal damage from getting, oh, oh no. Do you know uh -oh. what's in a Promethean's stomach? Uh -oh. I say, what kind of acid is in there, if they're acid? There's no acid in there, Amelia. 
It's all fire. Oh, no. oh. White, oh crap. White fire. <laughs> oh, no. It's Mike, you take two badly. points of aggravated damage as you begin to burn. Ah! <laughs> Frenzied Mike did a dumb. <laughs> um, ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Marsh is on. I am so close to death. Uh, well, look at the price. If you fill up on lethal, you're not dead. Uh, you just go into torpor. And because of your humanity, you'll only be unconscious for a couple of days. Okay. Um, that being said, initiative marches on. Uh, Amelia. Uh... This thing is blindly oh, yeah. flailing around. <laughs> about my... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, this thing is blindly flailing around, and it slaps you with a claw for one point of lethal damage, ripping through oh. your clothes and tearing into your skin. Those are my clothes. I need those. I like those. Everyone uh, will see my boobs otherwise. Strip. Um, Waylon, it's your turn. Well, this thing's tail is off and um, I can hear Mike's screams from inside of its belly. You, um, you, might, see, you might see the sword sticking out of it too at this point. Yes. <laughs> has, has Mike made some stab wounds in, in its belly? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, uh, yes. I, ju I just gave Mike the damage. I should have made him roll strength and weaponry, but it still only would have dealt one point of lethal damage, so we'll assume. I, in in a desperate attempt to get my uh, blood bond out of there, I'm going to get dangerously close to this creature and try to widen that, that wound that the katana made. <laughs> so hopefully I can, you know, Red Riding Hood yank him out of this thing's belly. Dear God, give me a raw strength and athletics roll. I'm sorry, strength and stamina. This is technically okay. opening a gate. Four, five, six, six seven. I'm going to spend a willpower to get a total of ten dice. Because this is important. <laughs> so, oh, that's a lot of tens. Okay. Okay, so you you reach into the wound and just start pulling, and like Atticus before you, you tear open this thing's belly, and Mike flops out like a cesarean section baby. Um, at which point, what's a f I think that would cause a firestorm. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, sometimes Prometheans open up Pandora's box. They sometimes discover too much too quickly. The air rages with fire and electricity blown back and forth on gusts of unholy wind. Pyros fills the air. These firestones firestorm so-called humidity humidian vortices concentrate <laughs> themselves around one promethean and assault him body and soul others rise less through the fault of a promethean and more through their triumph oh okay oh dear god Uh, it's almost impossible for them to take any action other than to cover their face and scream. A Promethean caught in a firestorm centered around another Promethean can perform actions, but any actions other than stumbling out of the radius of the storm suffer a minus four penalty to all dice pools. Reducing the number of successes that affect them by the number of successes they roll. Uh Okay. Oh, baby Jesus. 
Okay. So he's going to roll. Uh, everybody give me a Vitae roll. Uh, what's a Vitae roll? Uh, I'm sorry, another Vitae roll. A uh, blood potency roll. Just roll to did the dice equal to our blood potency? Yep. You may not spend willpower on this roll. That sounds oh. right. Okay. Uh. Oh, I got a exploded dice though. Hot. I did, but it didn't do anything. Okay, so each of you takes uh, one point of aggravated damage. How is that different from bashing and lethal? Uh, so instead of a bashing it's or lethal, worse. it's a star. Um, oh, okay. Aggravated damage only heals... Uh, well, it heals every two weeks. And if you ah. spend two Vitae, you can heal one aggravated damage. But if you don't have enough blood potency to spend two Vitae in a single turn, you just can't heal aggravated damage. So I'm gotcha. a little confused on how it, lethal and aggravated damage kind of... So I had... On the lethal track, I, I was left with three health. Okay. I took two aggravated on top of that, and now another aggravated. Does that mean I'm down? Uh, no, so you would have three aggravated and five lethal, correct? Yes. So you're filled up on lethal, and then you have three aggravated, which means you enter torpor. Uh, I'm not filled up on... Well, I wouldn't be filled up in lethal unless the aggravated kind of adds to the lethal. Yes. So, it does. All right. uh, if, so I'm down. Yeah. So like, if you're having any problems, consider it in terms of slashes. So like a lethal is two slashes, a bashing is one slash, and an aggravated is three slashes. You can't break damage down into smaller component pieces, but you can always break it up into larger component pieces. You probably shouldn't, but you can. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that I would be. I, I was down. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that one that one additional aggravated um, plus my lethal brings me to nothing. Um, and because of how much damage the croc has sustained, an arm falls off. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, loser. Uh, also, because each of you have taken an aggravated damage, give me a resolve and composure roll. Oh boy, <laughs> not me, right? Because I'm down. Yes, you are. You are. Uh, you are in torpor. Uh, Dave, have you ever had a night terror? Me. Yes. All right, let me look up torpor because I need to figure out how long you're having night terrors. Mm -hmm. Great. Page 99. The delicious smell of fried mushrooms fills the, fills the sewer. It does. There's also a tint, you know, a little bit of pork in there. going to experience uh, night terrors for one week! Oh, oh boy. Uh, you're out for one week. The only way you can be brought back is by elapsing that time or uh, hoping the crinkle for a Christmas miracle. But that will require you to go on another scavenger hunt. Um, now, the, the big thing about going into torpor is that it's not torpor that kills the vampire, it's starvation. We will look after you, Mike. Don't worry. Yeah, so uh, you'll have the benefit of, you know, having friends who will keep you alive while you mm -hmm. sleep. They live. Right. We, uh, will ha we will have to hunt for our friendo. Uh, Waylon, you resist frenzy. Amelia, you frenzy. 
Oh no! Jesus Christ! You need to destroy oh, no. this thing. It needs to die. The storm needs to die, and you're going to kill it. It fucking knocked down my mushroom, son. I'm gonna cut it into shiitake cubes. Uh, wait, it's your turn. <clears throat> it's more like croc sashimi. I'm gonna eat some fucking yeah. I'm having croc on a skewer tonight. Tonight, <laughs> the skewer is my bat. <laughs> So this thing is like stumbling around, screaming, missing an arm, missing its eyes, missing its tail. Uh, at this point, its most powerful defense is the firestorm. Azoth is spilling out of its belly, and it's destabilizing reality. Like, the walls have taken on the consistency of glue or paint. It's tearing you apart not on a physical level on a metaphysical level parts of you are turning into stuff that isn't people anymore parts of you are turning into glue or plastic or other improbable materials as the atoms in your body are involuntarily rearranged into other stuff. Yeah, I need to get away from this fucking thing. That's not a bad idea. And I need to get Mike away from this thing. Alternatively, kill it. It's got six slashes of, hell of health left. I have much health and I am frenzied. So if Waylon wants to get to safety and let Amelia go ape shit, That's not a bad idea. But that's, that's way exactly what I'm going to do because I still have yeah. my head. So I'm going to scoop Mike up and uh, retreat to the side of the uh, of the sewer landing, so I can leave him a little ways back from the combat. Do you have quick draw? I am going to have to drop my sword. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you drop your sword, you pick up the mic, and you ferry both you and him to safety. Seeing the, the flux storm from outside it is terrifying. It's... It hurts your eyes. It's a kaleidoscope of heat, haze, and chaos. Like... The warbling from your eyes is not a mirage of perception. It is literally what is happening to the world around this creature. Initiative marches on. Amelia, it's your turn. If I shoot into his fire belly, is his fire just going to melt my bullets? Or I mean, your bullets will do damage, but it will do no more damage than normal. That's fine, uh, but I'm hoping it won't ricochet out of his tummy the way it did his scales. They can't ricochet out of his tummy. They will... That was what I was, that's will, what I was hoping for. They will tear in and dissipate, but they will tear in before great. they dissipate. That's, that's great. Then uh, Amelia's frenzied, Amelia's pissed, Amelia's gonna pump some fucking bullets in his stomach. Uh, gun in one hand, razor wire bat in the other, you just start firing. Hell yeah. Alright, let me roll that. Sweet. And I'll spend another willpower. Because I'm frenzied, so I'm pissed. He knocked out my older son. And by older, I mean older than me. Alright. Um, so let me spend a willpower. And... Firearms. Eight. Got it. Jumping down his throat seemed like a good idea initially. I mean, you didn't know that a Promethean has a fire for a stomach. No. Because a Promethean can consume any organic matter. If it burns, they can eat it. Yep. Okay. Is it just nines or higher for firearms? or eight, It's eights and higher. Oh great, that's good. That's good then. I did good, bullet. Uh, 
That's five to bullet. You deal one point of lethal damage, which turns into two aggravated damage, so another arm falls off. He's got no arms. Hell yeah. He's got no arm, he's got Hell no tail. Yeah. Stand there and suffer, you bastard! Uh, so Thaddeus is suffering a minus four penalty for being in a firestorm. And he totally fails to slug this crocodile. Uh, initiative goes back to the top. Uh, Amelia and Thaddeus, you each take two points of aggravated damage. Ouch. Um, Mike, you're unconscious. Or you're worse, you're in torpor. Uh, the croc tries to heal himself. I would like to spend a point of vitae to fuck that. That's the... It's a good call. Uh, and then his legs fall off. When are you going to die, you bastard? Oh, God. Um, this is reminding me, starting to remind me of the, the Black Knight Monty Python sketch. But... It's, it's what Prometheans do uh, when they start filling up on aggravated, limbs start falling off. That's what I meant by they don't take wound penalties, but then something worse happens. Uh, no joke, he does try biting some legs off. Worse yet, the uh, filth water he falls into starts quenching his ass off, and he just it's screaming. <laughs> Dear God, you've never heard a crocodile scream. It's terrible. Uh, Waylon, it's your turn. I don't think you want to go in there, but if you want to, go ahead. No, I, I, I really, really don't want to go in there. But... I can see the crazy in Amelia's eyes. And if I don't find some way to help her, she's going to dive headfirst into that firestorm to kill this thing. Amelia. <laughs> take the shot. I'll take all the shots. So I'd like to call upon my hidden blade merit to pull some sort of fixed blade out of my belt. <laughs> Boot knife, you do always come back. You do always come back. Roll that beautiful strength and athletics roll to throw a boot knife at it. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I love her. I love that merit. I'm so glad I gave you that merit. Yeah, it's so good. Like Waylon and his twelve hidden knives. He's got I hidden... haven't abused it either. What's uh, what's uh, what's that? Gift from MS Paint Adventures, Problems Sleuth. I'm imagining that scene from Pirates of the Caribbean 2 where she's pulling out all the guns, but it's Waylon with knives. Just like pulling like big knives out of his pants and then like a little knife out of his boot, then a little pocket knife. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely. I love it. I whip this thing at the uh center of the firestorm as best as I can approximate it through watering eyes. Um, beautiful. Uh, Parliament uproar. Trusty knives. If you didn't have your trusty knives, you'd think you'd slit your throat. Uh, you throw from hell's heart, you stab at it. Uh, I gotta piss, and then I will describe what its terrible demise is like. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! That, but we fucked it more in the end. That 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 oh. thing actually looks more like Mike than not. <laughs> yeah, it really yeah. Does. Well, he's a hero. Listen, Mike became a fucking hero today. When he wakes up, we're gonna we'll throw him a big party. Party. I'm not sure if throwing Amelia myself will, down the throat was the best idea. Will, <laughs> no, it really Amelia, wasn't, but it was very in character. <laughs> it was. It was amazing. Amelia will have Waylon uh, watch a bunch of movies that you like with, like, together while you're gone, and then Mike can wake up and Amelia will be like, we can talk about them now! And I won't talk through them! Because I already talked through them with Waylon! <laughs> yeah, Mike can, Mike can be in the room with you guys, he's just gonna be dead. Yeah, we'll get you a little a little sippy cup of blood, and we'll have a movies like, night. Like weekend at Bernie's. Okay. <laughs> so the firestorm stops. Um, Yay! And the king croc begins to glow white, 
and it does not its mouth doesn't move but it speaks um and it turns to all of you and asks did a man kill me or a beast uh mike you automatically fail this roll uh or you don't get an opportunity to respond uh, Amelia Wayland, tell me if a man killed this croc or a beast. Send me a private message. I mean, Amelia is Amelia still frenzied? I mean, that would probably tip your hand toward beast. Yeah, that's the thing. Is if she, if the frenzy ends when he goes, then she's probably like, it was a man. But if she's frenzied right now, she was like, it was a beast. <laughs> oh, it, you're 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 still kind of frenzying. Okay, great. Um, and it stares accusing you at Lee at you, Waylon. Mm -hmm. And it says, You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. It was a pack of beasts who killed me. Waylon, you lose one humanity. Mike, you lose one humanity. That's fine with me. Um... <laughs> Amelia, give Hang me on. a. Lost willpower, lost humanity. Uh... We don't need humanity. It's where we're going. It's fine. You'll be surprised. Uh, so, Amelia, uh, give me a resolve and composure roll. Would love to. Now I have to switch. Hang on. Was that, do you say uh, wits and composure or resolve and composure? Resolve and composure. Okay. Great. You, you don't lose any humanity. Yay! Uh, now, Even when I'm frenzied, uh, I'm a good girl. Now, Amelia, give me a dexterity and medicine roll to remove its heart. Sure. I've got good medicine. Perks. I about to say, your frenzying starts to die down. Um, is it still just sort of glowing white and glaring at us? Yes. I'll do one more willpower because I can afford it and I don't want to fuck up slicing its heart after we went through a bad time to get it. Sounds good. That would suck if I <laughs> tripped at the finish line. <clears throat> Alright. Medicine and dex and extra dice. Six. Yeah. You fucking Kalima his fucking heart out. <laughs> Kalima. Hell yeah, dude. I went to med school, bitches! <laughs> uh, and then Thaddeus takes your shoulder and says, we need to get out of here. Agreed. We he's need to get... He's reconstituting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I swaddle up the heart and I take my hatchet out of his eye. And I guess I would grab um, Mike's katana from his mouth, too. Oh, that thing's toast. Oh, okay, great. Then I grab my hatchet and my um, uh, and his heart, and we're good. Mike's katana has turned into an unusually large reed. <laughs> Rip. Rip Mike's katana. So, y'all get the fuck out of there. 
Yep. Good thing I erased yeah. it from the museum's inventory already. The Crocodile King endures. Um, whenever a fast. Promethean raises their Azoth, they get an extra life. They can only have one at a time. But whenever they raise their ass off, it recharges. But you did Damn, very hard. This heart, so he's lost uh, he's lost the bonus organ extra heart. We did it, fam. Only okay. one of us almost died. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I Wayland's probably pretty close to. No, actually, yeah. I have three untouched boxes. Oh, okay. The hundred. I, I figured those four four aggravated damage would have. Would have chewed I didn't through. take aggro. I took lethal. Didn't you take aggravated damage from the first? I took one? one point of aggro. Oh. No, I, yeah. I took five I, points of lethal to start and healed. Throughout the fight. So my Vitae is extremely low. Yeah. I took no lethal or bashing, but three aggro. So I'm not like down and out, but I'm hurting way more than I was when I started. If we meet one rude person on the streets, I'm going to fucking drain them dry. <laughs> All right, let's get to my office before that happens, because we can't. I'm, I'm coming out of my frenzy, and we can't deal with that paperwork. Perhaps y'all should go to uh, Adam's mansion. That's a good idea. I'm just going to swaddle Mike up in my ruined trench coat. Um, when you get to your car, Thaddeus just says, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'd cause more problems than I'd help. Nice work, I think. Oh. Daddy, you Very were nice great. Work. You, you, you were great. You didn't cause any trouble. Thank you for the assist. You take the rest of the night off. You earned it. Of you call me if you ever need a little therapy. I'm always here for you. I'll 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 ooze some fluids. <laughs> I ooze. Mike oozes goodbye. <laughs> you successfully gurgle. <laughs> so, um, y'all show up at the mansion. This heart. Let me see if I can find an image of a crocodile's heart. I'm sure you can. Oh, yeah, definitely. Four chambers I with can. two ventricles. Excuse me? Huh. It looks a lot like a human heart, but it's very different. Yoink. Probably bigger and more primordial. Hey, hey same, same brain same heart. Style. Wow. <laughs> hey. But it is completely different human. But say it is not a human heart, which would be organized like this. I imagine coming out of this thing, it would be yeah. Lot... It's got like different wiring at the top, and <clears throat> it's probably like football size. Yeah, it's fucking huge. Yeah, Amelia, Amelia's just swaddling an albino heart in her like dress jacket <laughs> just a football of a heart under her coat that is true um and uh you when you guys come into adam's mansion <laughs> like carrying mike's unconscious body and this terrible crocodile heart <laughs> like the vampires inside are all like stood around uh, uh, like a map, like they're planning battle strategy. Oh, that's never good. And like among them is the Crinkle, uh, Flim and Flam, and Jack, as well as the Sea Consciousness and uh, Adam, and some other nameless the hangers. Gang the gang is Teddy there. Uh, Teddy is there. Teddy! Hey. The gang's all here! Um, we have a heart for the Kringle! 
Yeah, the crinkle just looks. Actually, real. William stumbles in very tired and goes, "I have a heart for the Pringle." <laughs> the crinkle looks at y'all and just looks at the heart and says, "Oh shit, goddamn." Yeah. I'll, I'll take that if you don't mind, Adam. No, please. <laughs> Adam nods. Um, Mikey had a rough go of it. As you can see, he would be more present if he could, but he can't, so he oozes hello. I can tell. You may bring him to your haven if you wish, or you may leave him here. I think we'll probably take him with us. We'll we'll, we'll look after him. Okay. Or unless you'd be able, you'd probably be able to feed him easily here, right? Without a problem. My reserves are renewed. Excellent. I look at Waylon and go like, what do you think? I feel like Mikey would probably rather stay at my haven, but is there any chance we could take a, a blood bag or two to go for our friend here? He had yeah. a hell of a time. Yes, please, by all means. Drink your food. Oh, thank you. Excellent. That's what Waylon yeah. wanted to hear. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, everybody refill all of your lethal damage and all of your Vitae. Yay. Uh, where's the page for this? Hold on. I think I might be able to heal my aggravated damage. I was about to say, I think two or three blood potency. I think it's three. I don't think you can spend two okay. of it. Right, just to make uh, your life worse. I will spend a Vitae and roll Intelligence, Medicine, and Crocon to activate Swift Flows the Blood, which will give me a temporary um, virtual blood potency. Specifically, only be able to use for healing. Motherfucker! Yep! <laughs> Holy shit! That's so uh, fucking useful! That's the one <laughs> dot. Waylon, you can stay forever. <laughs> In medicine, so you sit, seven total dice. You stop. You think, and you breathe. And when you breathe, the terrible, uh, the terrible flames of Flux are wiped aside. I have a temporary blood potency for healing of five. Nice. Yeah, no, you're able to restore your uh, aggravated damage without trouble. Excellent. Gurgle. For a moment, I taste a fraction of my old power. Oh, man. And it is good. Those were the days. On a moonlit, rainy night, you would sow sh such devastation. And now look what's become of you. Let's not oh, think about the trends you made. Let's not focus on the past. Let's think of the future. I think that Mike should stay with us. As you wish. And we'll need some time to resuscitate our new fool. In the meantime, if there are any candidates you believe should take their position in my court, I'll make it happen. When she is revived... When she's revived, there's no more need for work. Get your requests. Amelia, under her breath, whispers. To, to, under her breath, Amelia whispers, ominous. Mm hmm. I can't be upset that you worked so quickly. So quickly. Yes. What can we say? We're diligent. Yes, you are my child. 
The last of my little duel, my child makes to me. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, you just said the last of my insight brought you to me. Amelia is smiling a little bit to herself. Yeah, she's she's proud. proud. You should be proud. You earned this. Thanks, Adam. Your social graces are coming back to you. Your your princely charm is coming back. I can see it. I can feel it. I told you. I wasn't always some mewling wreck. Oh, I know. I knew it. The day I met you, I saw it. I felt it. And now I'm now I'm seeing what I'm feeling. You feeling me? I do feel you. I feel you very intimately. All right. Well, that's um, kind of creepy. Not in front of Wayland, please. I understand. Can Amelia try to like? Well, actually, she's just gonna ask. She's she's blunt enough. What are you kids doing over there? You looked like you were playing a uh, battleship. That is the plan, yes, to create a stable society. Ah. We will require resources, racks, wealth, blood. Gotcha. Securing up the chain lines, I get it. Exactly. We only mean to take what we need. And those who are... Those who are willing to parlay will be well rewarded for their for their obedience. You're bound to run into some opposition. Yes, and that's what we're trying to anticipate. Well, we know that the Sabbat aren't going to be too happy that their leader has jumped ship. I think they'll come around to our way of thinking. One way or another. <laughs> You're a good boy, Waylon. I knew I brought you... you in for a reason. Mike was kind of the hero of the night. I know he's not here to des to receive accolades, but, you know, if we could take a moment, all of us, Mike was really... I mean, Waylon, you were excellent too, but... Mike was kind of the 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 croc hunter of the century, really. Oh, oh yes, his torpor speaks volumes. No kindred enters torpor for cowardice or arrogance. They only no. enter torpor for courage. Yeah. Let's just say his uh, vice of sloth was not in play today. And we'll make sure that he wakes to a hero's welcome. Good. I will arrange a festival in his honor when he comes to. Yes. Yes. Aww. A festival. Just in time. I'm sorry. I need. It, it, Amelia absolutely knows that Mike will be incredibly miserable with that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Amelia's like, well, actually, we're, he, Mike tends to like things a little casual. We might just do a movie night, the three of us, but I just wanted to, to make sure you, I mean, you saw the state he's in, but, you know, wanted to make sure you knew when he, when he comes to a word or two of thanks, he really earned it tonight. But I know he's not a big party guy. I need time to scheme my thoughts are distorted. By all means, remain. But have you I'm been practicing your... Talk. Have you been practicing your grounding meditations like we've talked about? I have, yes. Oh! Amelia claps a little. And pulls out randomly from her coat that's covered in blood, she pulls out like a... Or, or covered in, like, goop from the sewer, she pulls out, like, a grimy gold star and stick it out on <laughs> Adam's hand. Like, I'm so proud of you. 
Amelia, I need to show you something. Come with me, please. Of course. You can always show me anything, Adam. No secrets between therapy, therapist and client, sire and kin. I was just about to say. Uh, he leads you into the chamber in which Lilia Cheva is slumbering. Uh, the crinkle is there and he's like, you want I should do this now? And he's like, no, absolutely not. My work isn't done. I need to show my child my secrets. She's earned this much. And he's like, oh, mm -mm, yep, say no more. You do whatever you want behind closed doors. You know what? I don't even want to know. Oh, oh, okay. Now, I can tell you determined that something was amiss with what I was doing with the Leacheva. You are correct. Dementation yeah. is a of the mind, the eye, but not the hand. Let me show you what hand disciplines is. Amelia scoots up to observe he, in uh, full student mode. He takes his hand in yours and takes his hand and puts it over her head. Katie, are you familiar with a nyromancy? Hmm. No. Um, for a second, you are offered a window into Lelia Cheva's tortured visions. Oh. Uh, you are witnessing her dreams. Ooh. Um, and her dreams are a whirlwind of violence. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't imagine she's having the sunshine and rainbow dreams Amelia has. No. And I mean, like, when you sleep for normal, you have good dreams. When you torpor, it's all bad. Right. Um, torpor is just, like, the worst things you've ever done played on repeat. And when you're as old as Lilia oh. Cheva is, the repeats right. the, don't repeat very yeah. often. It's just your, like, personal hell loop. Oh, yeah, no. It's just... Yeah. Did you ever watch Preacher? I'm imagining, like, Preacher, where it's your worst moment, like, on repeat again and again. Oh, man. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh... The closest thing I can think of is The Sinning Tree from Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, yeah! Um, oh, that... Mm. <laughs> it feeds on your sins. Oh no. If you're a bad person, if you're a good person, it doesn't feed for very long. It may starve trying to consume you. But if you're truly villainous, it will gorge forever. Right. That's that's an all you can eat buffet, baby. Yep. This thing is an all you can eat buffet on her. Um Ugh. you may adopt the uh oniromancy merit from now on. Ooh. It is not Hell. a discipline. It is a merit. It will allow you to use your dementation to uh, dis uh, to displace yourself into other people's dreams. Oh, 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 oh. oh thank you. Merry Christmas to me. It's not something that it, it, it it's risky. Uh, because how do you spell this? Uh, O N E. -I. Sorry. Know what, let me let me just let me just copy because yeah. I was looking. Oh, thank you. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> yep. Oh, gracias. Yeah, I was never going to be able to get that on my own. No. Um, because yeah, you can only use it when someone else is sleeping, and so you can only use it by staying up through the night, which will lower your mm. temporary, which will lower your humanity temporarily. Gotcha. And is it like I can just see their dreams or I can like supplement myself into their dreams? Oh, uh, it depends on how d it depends on how skilled of an Anira pump you become. Gotcha. Um, if you become super powerful, you can fucking inception motherfuckers. Hell yeah. And now you understand oh, yeah. Adam's secret. Oh, this is why Adam sleepwalks, maybe? This is why Adam sleepwalks. This is why Adam is able to ch change the heart and minds of other people. 
Hell yeah. And oh, yes, Amelia, more than anything, Amelia's like, I solved the puzzle of why the vampire sleepwalks. Right. Why also, the... I can enter people's dreams. That's pretty great, great, but like, that was driving me nuts. Right. Like, why is the vampire sleepwalking? Because his dreams are too powerful for mortal minds. Damn. Amazing. Uh, I'm trying to find the Oneromancy skill because it's, it's, it's very powerful. Um, and most importantly to you, you can use an aromancy to do therapy on people. The dream! The literal dream! The literal dream. Um, Therapeutic dream! You make a meditation roll, and then you need to get a number of successes depending on the destination. Now, because of who you are and what you are, you can only use an aromancy through physical contact. Right. Um, uh, fairies can uh, ride the dreamscape to find the dreams of others. That's because they're special. Yeah, because that's like their domain. Yeah, because that's what they're part of. Uh, you, you'll have to do things the 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 difficult way. That's fine. Oh, thank you, Papa Papa Adam. <laughs> Amelia. Comes back to it, overwhelmed with the violence that she saw, but also mixed with, like, truly touched. And, like, squeezes Adam's hand and goes, like... I usually have words, or if I don't have words, I make up words. But right now, just... Thank you, and I'm... Honored to have been sired by you. You're welcome, my child. We will create. And if I ever go against your plan, it will only ever be for your benefit. He just says, We will create a beautiful night together. So. Amelia feels bonded with her vampire dad, and she's very happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, it feels really powerful. She was like, I couldn't tell you about it, but I wanted to, you to know that, like, the whole time that I was messing with your plans by staring into the fire, I was like, he's going to be disappointed, but also really proud of me. Like, I came out of it, and I was like, I don't know. I just... I was really proud of myself, and I'm glad that you can be proud of me, too. So, everybody give me your requested candidates. Um, and, uh, submit to me your requests for the prince. Oh. Two weeks pass, Mike returns to his senses, and the court has been constructed. Um, the email that Mike sent to Amelia, which she would get, oh, yeah. he didn't have a chance to delete it, um, is essentially just telling, telling her that he has, uh, um, that his mother and father are still alive, and that he has a twin sister, um, who is also who is also still alive and, uh, and a doctor, and that he yeah he tries to 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 look out for them in case anything, you know, from a distance to make sure if you know anything nasty um, could affect them. So, and just to keep you know just keep an eye on them and to look at his uh, email account that he has where he tracks them. Oh. oh, I'm not crying. You're crying. <clears throat> Mike has various fake social media accounts where he's actually friends with his, with some of his, uh, with his nephew and niece. Oh. Amelia's gonna get so good that she can help him visit them in, his, in her dreams. She's gonna get so good at dream magic for Mikey. So you can do some wacky shit with an Iron Man I'm gonna do wholesome shit with Iron Man <laughs> Thank you. 
it's sort of funny saying that Mike's that um, Mike's twin sister is a middle-aged Asian woman. It's <laughs> not what you expect. Well, I still love it. I love all of it. Amelia's gonna request her, uh, well, she's gonna go talk to him first, but Amelia's gonna offer, like, a, a human ambassador position to her mentor, the, like, super crazy metaphysics guy, and she's like, okay, but what if you were right, and what if you could talk to the supernatural people about it? Oh, uh, Daryl Yamamoto? What? Yes, yeah, she's gonna pitch him as, like, a, maybe, like, a human contact or an ambassador or something. Unless he wants to get turned into a vampire. That's his choice, but she's going to be like, yo, um, I got a metaphysics guy that we should uh, <laughs> bring into the fold. Um, that will not be your request for uh, a member of the court. That will have to be your request of Adam personally. But if you want to spend your one that's request fine. on getting Daryl Hamamoto turned into a vampire, that's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Let me think on it for a moment. But that's probably that would probably be it. Amelia doesn't have too many other wants. Right, and like having having a vampire in that condition with that much knowledge could be very valuable to you. Yeah, I guess that that'll probably be Amelia's request. Is he mentored her in the metaphysics before she was supernatural? It's only fair to pay him back now that she's supernatural. Um. He will be turned by a Tremere, but instead of being bloodbound to the Tremere Primogen, he will be bloodbound to you. So you will have a one dot bloodbound Hamamoto, uh, which means basically if he should ever be compelled to betray you, he he won't. <laughs> like if you if he should ever be compelled to betray you, he will let you know that he has been ordered to betray you. Whoa. That's amazing. Just like that oh, request worked out for me. Hey, my primogen told me that you need to die. Uh, I told him that I would kill you, but I'm not going to do that. So he doesn't understand right. how email works. So I sent you this message. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Already then. Look at Amelia diving into dreams and getting bloodbound babies. <laughs> oh, starting your own vampire. family. Mm hmm. It's really wholesome. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, all right. Uh, so, okay. So, number one. Um, uh, okay. So, number one, Amelia, you get a sweet, sweet pocket Daryl. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. He is super psyched to learn that, like, vampires are real. And he's kind of content to just sort of, like, hang out at the Tremere Chantry and just, like, do research and figure out which of his theories were real. Yeah. <laughs> Love that for him. Uh, Honestly, it's the life he deserves. How many how many dots do, do you have in Mentor with Daryl? Um, he is uh, three dots. He's a big mentor. Boost it to six. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh Daryl now has access to like impossible knowledge. Uh because of who he was in life, in death, he has the ability to draw connections between things that other lesser mentors are incapable of performing. Yes, I got a super mentor. Fuck yeah. Now Wayland Hell yeah. Uh mm. because of uh because of uh, Lilia Cheva's influence on the council, they are willing to allow you to regain your formal, former glory the quick way. They oh. Will, they will present you with an unruly Ventru who does not deserve their blood, and it will be given to you instead. I, and gracious, graciously, I accept. Alrighty then, uh, you lose one humanity and eat a motherfucker. 
Um, and uh, so you gain a point in all of the venture disciplines that you have that are lower than three dots, and you go up to five blood potency. Oh, yes. Love that for you. I also love that for me. And it's what I deserves. Wayland, you have been raised to the position of hound. Oh. Uh, so you are not the you're not the sheriff. You're not here to preserve the law. You're here to break knees. Um. Uh, the the, the, the uh, people colloquially <laughs> refer to you as the tax collector. Better pay your fucking taxes. You better pay your fucking taxes, or I'll break your fucking legs. <laughs> um, and Mike. Okay. Your. When did you lose track of your sire? Oh, like twenty years ago, <laughs> if not longer. So Mike's Mike's been a feral has been a feral lost boy for the most of, most of his time. Right. She's out there. She's in Boston. She went to the East Coast. Paradoxically, for a, so she had been sent to the East Coast to deal with the Bowery King, who is the the Fay who's in charge of the freehold here in Chicago. But apparently, she she turned coat flipped sides and is currently causing hell for the kindred on the east coast she's sabat or some other side she's on her own side you'd have to talk to the bowery king about the arrangement they came to good to know that being said it's it's quite unclear but now you've got a lead quite a powerful one at that And in the end, the Adam's court was reconstituted. Powerful, more powerful than ever, disparate and dark. Um, with, uh, with the most powerful of, of the Camarilla, the Anarchs, and Olga Lilyacheva as their court fool. Her darkness was tempered by several aneromancy sessions, but none could deny her viciousness. And that viciousness pervaded the court at every turn. Blood, a blood hunt was a threat before. Now it was a promise. Being staked out for the sunrise was a regular occurrence to those who threatened the masquerade or, more importantly, threatened good taste. And that is what became of Chicago's vampire environment. Perfect. Well done, everyone. And everybody died happily ever after. <laughs> Aww.